Hey everyone, it's Chris and we're in the Artifact Studio and I wanted to share with you a special run of bags that we have just made for our sustainable collection that incorporate circa 1930s military duffel bags into the construction and design. Let's take a look at them. So it's a numbered edition, there's five bags and this one in particular uh, was made with originally a white, like a navy sea bag and we situated the pieces so that they can help to um, inform the design. Whereas you see here, this is still the top hem of that original sea bag with the grommets intact, um, with an amazing patina. Someone must have used it maybe as a drop cloth at one point because there's some sky blue paint splatters. Um, and this uh, natural canvas has toned out to all these like beautiful rich like kind of gradients and hues and you see here um, a stencil of the original owner that we wanted to showcase here and that on this panel and then on this side you have what is um, it was original to the piece it is a reinforcement or a repair um, that's just gorgeous like look at that heavy cotton thread that they were sewing with there had been some damage to the bag, as often is the case with these uh, textiles that we're finding. Um, and so we took the other uh, duffel bag that we were using for this series and used it as an underlayment where we came in and rigor repaired this to make it not only structurally intact, but um, attractive in its own way, leaving a bit of that frayed edge just to give it some depth. And so the canvas of this era it, it is a narrow loomed canvas, meaning it was loomed on narrow rolls. And what they would do is they would have an ID line woven into that. So when you were forming um, a bag or a carry good, you could fold it into itself and you understood what your seam allowance would be here. So it was just a quick way. They didn't have to cut them. They would actually have the materials loomed to the widths they need, like a vintage pair of Levi jeans the legs of those are a specific width because you can come around and just want, run one uh, seam down the end. They were also loomed on what's called a dobby loom where um, it, it's, uh, it's a slower loom and uh, by manufacturing standards, it's uh, less efficient. And that's what I love most about it because when you look at the warp and the weft of this canvas, you see these wonderful inconsistencies where there's like slub runs and uh, it's not absolutely perfect, but it's structural. Uh, there's one right there. Uh, and I just, it just adds so much more personality. Let's look at the other side to see what we've got. And then also, um, this is a heavy duck. So you've got a prominent weave here between that warp and weft that just gives it such a texture. And it's a, uh, you know, it's really hard to source canvas, not only in this weight, but, but you know, that has this type of, uh, of character to it. Uh, so for the leather, what I've done is I used a natural vegetable tan leather, which would have looked like this, but I, this doesn't pair as well with this aged material. So I hand oiled it and hand stained it to just accelerate a bit of that process. Now this natural vegetable tan leather, it will react with, to your hand oils, it'll react to uh, the UV and sunlight, and it will patina over time and develop a beautiful caramel, if not brown color. But that does take a moment, so I jump-started the process um, by doing that here with this bag and all the other ones. So looking inside, you've got a custom YKK zipper with a leather pull. You've got this beautiful zipper placket. The, uh, the shoulder straps are secured with solid brass rivets with brass washers. <coughs> Excuse me. It is lined with a 10 ounce canvas with an internal zippered pocket and it even has our shuttle loomed vintage style label um, that denotes that it's part of our sustainable collection. So 
we're dealing with heavy canvas, we're dealing with leather, these cannot be made on a home sewing machine. You would just burn that machine out. So we in our studio uh, have invested in industrial machines that can handle these types of weights. Uh, some of them would include like this Adler flatbed that we do a lot of sewing on. And we have this Adler cylinder bed here, which is, for example, what we would do to close the bag, as they would say, when you're coming around here. Uh, and this has a walking foot, so it can walk over the leather. And that's what gives you this even, the stitches per inch here, they're all even. The thread tension is perfect because we're using the right equipment for that job. If you were to use the household sewing machine, it, would, it wouldn't be able to feed through that and the stitches would bunch up. You've probably seen that before when you're at like a, a maker fair and uh, you know, that's the thing. Like there's a lot of makers in the world, but they're not all created equal. And that has to do with the craftsmanship, but also the tools that they're using. Another machine that we use would be this post bed. Those are commonly used with shoes, but also with bags and carry goods, because you can get up in there and it's got a roller foot that rolls along and enables you to sew special projects. As I mentioned, these are part of our sustainable collection uh, where we create and make products that are either using certified organic canvas or materials that we've upcycled uh, to, to have a new use or life. For example, like this is an example of a, oh, this would have been like a World War II uh, Marine Corps duffel. It doesn't have a handle or strap anymore. So it's a really great piece of material, but the utility of this is limited if you don't have a way to carry it and the size, uh, not a lot of uses for these. So it's a perfect opportunity to take this that has this beautiful toning and patina and hue and quality with that nice early loomed canvas and bring it into a new context with some of these products. So most of the sustainable products that we're gonna be making, they're in very limited small batch runs and a way to be aware of when they are available is to follow our newsletter. We will make an announcement when these products dropped, drop and it's a first come first serve basis. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.